What's going on guys, GSNOW right here, so in today's video we're discussing about the current status of the iOS jailbreak as for the week 3 of November. Now a lot of you have been asking me whether you should update or not, the jailbreak seems to be dead, so what you should be doing. So uh, I decided to put together this video and try to explain uh, on which firmware you should be staying and also to talk a little bit about fake jailbreaks that seems to be popping up more and more recently and also about the current status of the legit jailbreaks and what is going on. Now I'm going to start with the fact that for those of you who do not know iOS 11.1.1 is the latest firmware to have a private jailbreak and that one is from Lion Chen but um, this jailbreak that has been demonstrated at POC a couple uh, days ago like on like 10 days ago has not been released and it's probably never going to be released. We came to the conclusion that Lion Chen, although a very good security researcher, he is not going to release anything, at least not for the moment. So what you should be doing? Well, if you're running iOS 11.1.1 hoping for a jailbreak, at least do not update further on. But um, if you're running iOS 10.3.3 or 10.3.2 and uh, you're waiting for a jailbreak, I would strongly recommend you to stay there. And the reason for that is that the um, iOS 10.3.x is no longer signed except on the iPhone uh, 6s. And you can see that um, most of the iOS 11.x firmwares are currently signed, at least um, according to the IPSW.me, and uh, none of them are jailbroken or have any publicly available exploits that would render a jailbreak. Now for the iOS 10.3.x, I'm talking here about 10.3, 10.3.1 and 10.3.2, and quite possibly 10.3.3 but not that much, there are publicly available exploits and at some point somebody might put them together. The same situation that happened when Saigon popped out might happen again for a uh, newer firmware like iOS 10.3.1, 10.3.2 or 10.3. Now I get it, a lot of you will say uh, yet another jailbreak for a, an older firmware. Well, you should probably know that most of the jailbreaks will be for a lower firmware. Do not expect the latest and greatest to be always jailbroken. If you want to be jailbroken, do not update your phone. I mean, if you're keeping on updating to the latest version, how do you expect a jailbreak to be always available. Uh, it's it's something you should know, do not update your, your device, keep it on the lowest firmware possible and your chances are bigger. I mean, Apple is always adding more and more security enhancements to their iOS versions as time goes on, because security researchers, although they seem quiet, uh, in the background, they might be providing Apple with, you know, data about new vulnerabilities that they discover and so on. You can file a radar, you can file, you know, a notice to Apple and tell them, guys, you have a bug in there, you have to fix it. And um, they will silently fix it and you wouldn't even know that bug existed and could have been exploited. So even though security researchers are looking quiet, they are not, they are doing their job. So updating to the latest version is like kicking yourself in the nuts. So do not update to the latest version, that's a fact. If you want a jailbreak, stay as low as possible, just like staying as low as possible from the radar. Okay, so uh, another thing that I would like to talk about is this fake jailbreak, and not only this one, but many, many others claiming that there is a public iOS 11.1, 11.1.1, and even 11.1.2 jailbreak available, especially this Zenit jailbreak in here, which, you know, it seems like a very huge guide and stuff like that with videos and even, they even got uh, POC's uh, tweet in here about the uh, iOS 11.1.1 jailbreak from Lion Chen to somehow back their, uh, their fake jailbreak and they have a lot of screenshots and so on. It's, it's a very well done article in here that looks like a proper tutorial and stuff like that. It's long enough to, to you know, trigger Google to index it. And don't get me wrong, this is not some shady website that I found in the dark places of the internet and just decided to shove it up your screen and say, oh look, there is a fake jailbreak. No, this is actually in the first page of Google if you're searching for iOS 11.1 or 11.1 jailbreak, which is quite sad because this is a fake jailbreak. So um, yeah, you have like guides from 9to5Mac, you have guides from whatever website that is covering jailbreaks and so on. 
after these fake jailbreaks uh, in search, which is quite sad. So do not follow guys from Taiji9. There is no such thing. Taiji doesn't even have this um, this address. The Taiji, which is for those of you who are new to the jailbreak community, Taiji is actually a uh, an old jailbreak development team, and uh, their website was Taiji.com. Not even Taiji9. So no. But uh, there are many more. It, this one is just an example. I didn't want to just like talk four minutes about fake jailbreak. So this one is just an example, but there is no publicly available iOS 11.1 or iOS 11.1.2 or 1.1 jailbreak. So do not lose your time trying to install from this or trying to follow guys that ask you to go to Safari. That isn't going to happen. There hasn't been a Safari jailbreak since iOS 9 point something where you just activated that via jailbreak me. And um, that's quite sad, but yeah, it, it's not possible. So. If you see something like go ahead to our address in Safari and press whatever in Safari and you will see this, no, that's not a jailbreak. If, if it's in Safari and it's for iOS 11, it's not a jailbreak. Unless, of course, it's coming from a reputable source, but this one isn't a reputable source. Now, speaking about iOS versions, you can see here that for the bloody iPhone 6s, iOS 10.3.3 still seems to be signed as for now. However, some people said they had problems trying to go back to 10.3.3 by downloading the IPSW. Now, I do not know, I do not have an iPhone 6s, so I can't test this uh, this theory, but if you can and if you want it, if you're running iOS 11 and you you got enough of it, you can try to downgrade to iOS 10.3.3 and see if it works since it seems to be signed in here. Now, it's the only iPhone to have the iOS 10.3.3 currently signed and you know, that's quite interesting and it's quite good because if you're able to downgrade to iOS 10.3.3, you have way more chances to get a jailbreak than on iOS 11. Uh, and yeah, it might take a while for a jailbreak to occur, but that's that's the current world we're living in. It's, it's not something we can do. The jailbreak is not dead, like people say. Uh, it's just slowing down. And the reason for that is that Apple security is getting tougher and tougher. And there are less and less developers interested in publicly releasing stuff. And that's partly due to the community harassing them and asking them, all the time when they're going to release the next jailbreak and that's probably you know pissing them off I, I mean i would be pissed off if i would get like hundreds of comments and mentions in my tweets uh when you're going to release the next jailbreak i mean cut me some slack so yes i can understand the developers at least partly so um the best thing you can do stay on the lowest version and be patient that's pretty much everything you can do for the moment. And do not update to iOS 11.2 or 11.1.2 or 11.1, especially 11.2 beta 4. It's the worst beta Apple has ever released. Do not try that one. So yeah, do not forget guys, go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to stay updated. We'll keep you updated with anything related to jailbreak and iOS. And uh, this video has been brought to you by Dr. Phone, a Wondershare product that helps you fix your device or maintain it. They have tools that are able to recover data that's been lost from your device, to transfer your data from Android, iOS, and so on, repair various iOS issues, and even erase your device if you want to give it away or if you want to sell it, and you want to make sure somebody can peek into your data. They also have backup, unlocks, and uh, routing for Android. So quite nifty tools. Check them out. You have a coupon in the description for $5 off if you decide to purchase any of them, but they do provide free trials for you to try their programs and see whether they suit you perfectly or not. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. I really hope I made things clear with this um, jailbreak update video. I know some of you do not like this jailbreak update videos and uh, I try to kind of balance them to not make them too frequently, but some people do like them and uh, they, they keep them uh, updated and um, helps them to, you know, get in touch with whatever is going on currently without having to Google for hours to see exactly what's going on and stuff like that. So that's why I'm doing them. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Slap a like to this video if you liked it, slap a dislike if you didn't and peace out.